So what I'm going to try and create today is uh, my own version of a backy shower. Um, I've seen some of these for sale, obviously they're quite expensive, um, and I've seen quite a few people making their own in various different ways. So I'm going to have a go using three of these containers, you'll probably see down in your local, uh, down in your, they call them the heavy tubs because they're a bit more stronger, a bit sturdier than some of the pound land ones. Although you could still use the pound land ones, I've seen people use them, but I went for something a bit stronger. Um, slight downside, or, well, it's a positive, but they're a bit bigger than the pound ones, um, which means you have to buy more media uh, to go in them. So this is what I'm going to be using. The plan is, uh, the top one, I'm going to bore a hole into the side using my cutter, drill that in, and then insert, I've got inch and a half pipe, so I'm going to cut a length of this off so it's long enough to go over the top like so I've got a stop end that I've fitted to the end of this one and then when that's cut off there I'm going to drill lots and lots of holes all the way along to make it like a shower and then I'll attach a hose connector to the end for my pump so the water will pour in the top sprinkle out into whatever media we put in there and then hopefully I'll drill all holes in the bottom of this one. I'll also then drill all the holes in the lid for the one below and then it should trickle down, trickle down and then when I get to the bottom one I'm going to bore another hole this time into the bottom of the tub with a pipe coming out and then I can either have that just pouring straight into the pond or I could have it onto another hose or I could take it over to the waterfall maybe but I think for now I'm going to look to just stack it over on the side of the pond there um, you can probably see over in the corner there we, we've got a whole bio uh, filter over there but I don't think it does any harm just to have a little bit more and I like the sound of the running water so uh, oh sorry so the fixing that I'm going to use is a standard, uh, I got this in my local uh, Koish suppliers, uh, which way does it go, like so, and that's what's going to go onto the tub, obviously this being the inside, this being the outside, and then that will connect to the hose. So uh, let's go drill some holes. So now that's all drilled, I'm going to be looking, the media I'm going to use uh, that I have laying around that I haven't used up. Um, I, I purchased some bio media um, which is uh, from Filter Pro and it's supposed to be awesome. Um, it's porous, has a really large surface area um, and hopefully will allow the good bacteria to have a nice little home. Um, this is what it looks like. So this is Biomedia from Filter Pro. Um, it's quite heavy. There's three kilos here. Um, it's kind of like a volcanic rock, I suppose. But I think I do believe it's a man-made version. Um, but looking at that and looking at my tub, I'm probably going to need about another five kilos just to get a few inches in there. So just bear that in mind if you use a large tub like I have. But I've heard great reviews about this, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it gets on. And once they're all drilled in, for now, what I'm going to have on the top, so I'll have my media in the bottom of the tub, then on top of that, I'm going to have a finer, coarse sponge to catch the smaller, obviously it's rippled, to collect, collect a lot of the sediment, or the larger sediment, um, sorry, finer sediment, and then on top of that, I'm going to put some good old jack mat, um, hopefully this is much coarser and will catch a lot of the larger particles before it gets down to the finer. Right, so first things first, I need to cut my pipe to length. I'm going to do it by eye, I'm not too fast. Okay, so it's going to be around about a foot long. And I'll be using 
my old knackered saw. But as long as it cuts, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of sandpaper and just flick over the, any sharp edges. Okay, so as you can see, once this is fitted, it's a little gap at the top, but pretty much covers the whole bay. So, so now I'm going to drill in a row of holes either side to allow for the shower. And again, just give that a wipe to get rid of any little sharp bits of plastic. But now I've got five on one side, five on the other. And then when I put this fitting in and cut out the box, it might just work. Okay, so I've cut the hole in my tub, if you can see through there. I'm now going to pop on my adapter, uh, connector. Got rubber seal on this side. Pop that in like so. And then do the thread up on the inside. Easy said than done when you're standing up. There we go. We'll do that up nice and tight. And then I'll do the same for the bottom one with the lower spag. Okay, so we've bored out the side. Just move this. Bored out the side of the tub. Popped in my fitting. And this is just obviously a standard downscaler. Until I work out what size hose attachment is going to come off my filter. And this will be... Uh, from my pump and this will be on the top one. Okay, so here's the one for the outlet at the bottom. I'm gonna pop my adapter on there. Screw that back on in the bottom. I suppose the good thing with this is depending on how much media you want to use, you can just keep stacking and stacking. Um, I'm gonna stick with three for now because I already have a quite a large filter over there but this is just a bonus okay so that one is now drilled in and screwed in so I'm not going to drill any holes in this one of course because that's going to be on the bottom on top of this one will be this fella like so and then the same with the next one on top so I need to drill the bottom out of this one and the top out of this one, ready for the next one to go on top. Okay, so now if we pop this in, slide it into the connector, like so, and then tighten that up, and that should give us quite a good sprinkle. Okay, so that's now fitted. As you can see, I'll drop the media in under there, the jack mat and the sponge mat on top of that, and that will be our top layer. So obviously being our top one, I'm going to need to drill loads of holes into the bottom to allow it to sprinkle down. So I'll do that now. So, there's my big sieve. Obviously, I'm not sure what speed it's going to trickle through yet. Um, I shall do the same for the lid and uh, we'll do a test. These ray sections here, I've drilled in the gullies in between, obviously. So if there is uh, any 
water coming down it's going to go into the gullies and down rather than trying to go through the higher raised parts okay and I'm just going to do that for the next lid and the bottom of the other one Another one done. Okay, so for my pipe coming out of the bottom, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop off, well, I could just push that straight through, um, but I'm gonna have a few inches, probably eight to 10 inches poking out the end. I'm going to drill just a load of holes down one side and just make a, a small shower coming out. Cheap flute. And then I'm going to push that into the outlet on the bottom one. So now, hopefully, that will pour straight out back into the pond uh, with a little bit of a trickle as, as well as an over, overflow in case it comes in a bit fast. Um, I'm just going to go and stack it down the other end and see what we've got before I put some media in here. Okay, so I've uh, cut some of my matting to size now so a little bit on the edges just to push that in and what I'm going to do is put in my bio media first so with the bio media that was three kilos three kilograms I thought it was going to be enough uh, but it's it's not. It covers the bottom by about an inch. Okay. And then I'm going to lay my fine mat over the top of that. Like so. See from there. And then I'm going to lay the coarser one on top of that. So this will catch the larger particles. Like so. So I've now got them both in there. And then I've actually got just an offcut of jack mat. But I'm going to use that as well because I've got it. So that should catch any particularly large particles. Okay. So in a minute I'm going to hook a hose up onto here. I'm going to put some alpha grog in the bottom one um, because I do have some of that and then, uh, and then I'm going to just turn her on and see what she does. Okay so I've now got the alpha grog in there. I'm just going to put a little, little bit of mesh over the end. just to ensure none of it falls through into the pond. Um, I'll just use a little bit of this coarse matting. And then uh, that should give me another layer. Another layer of filtration. First one on top, I'm just doing two for now to see if she works. That one like so. And then my lid's going to go on here, but I just want to see if it works first. So, what pump do I have available?
and then I'm going to attach a pump. Okay, now let's turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so it's coming through the hose quite well on both sides. I could put another couple of holes in, but we'll see. Um, just need to check that it trickles down to the second layer without building up and then spilling over the sides. Ah, uh, I can hear it coming out the bottom already. Making its way through the filter. Thanks very much.